Hey guys, this is DAK, and today we're going to uh, be working on the manager mode that we said we we're going to start in the last video. And uh, as I said, we're going to start in the Barclays Premier League, which I'm uh, choosing right now. And uh, I was talking about last time how I wanted to choose a bit, a poor team in the Barclays Premier League, prefer preferably in the, with a low budget. And so after deliberating for a while, uh, I decided to go with w Wigan Athletic. And so we'll get into this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing on professional. Uh, just keep the defaults, and I'm just gonna use the first and last name similar to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, and so pretty much I'm gonna be uh, putting these out uh, once every few days. Um, and the uh, the the thing that I wasn't thinking over is that FIFA 14 is actually coming out in approximately a month from now. So I'm gonna see how fast we can finish up this series to make sure we can get it done in time for FIFA 14. But like in the case that we don't completely finish, it's all right. We'll just I might just start a new one there, or we might just continue this one for a while. Uh, because this isn't like using any online servers or stuff that might shut down. And so uh, this is pretty much uh, going to be uh, one episode equals one month. Unless there's an important match which will be its own video. So that's going to pretty much how the layout is going to be. So uh, I got right into this and uh, just to let you know this is pre-recorded and I talked over it afterwards uh, to make that more simple for myself uh, to cut things out and move them around to make sure everything uh, flows nicely and so uh, first thing I had to check out the squad to see what my squad would be like and uh, looking down the squad uh, I knew that this team uh, being that it was a bad team wouldn't have that many top quality players and so uh, that's exactly what I expected when I looked through this um, and also what I noticed right here is that I don't have anyone with an overall over uh, 80 so I figured I should at least get a good a good forward before the season starts and so I checked out the squad lineup uh, and I was looking through and uh, I noticed that some players in there uh, just should have been changed so uh, so I went straight to transfer and uh, we we started buying players well I, I started looking for players and I spent a ton of time looking through players and stuff with such my such a low budget budget I have a transfer budget of 10 million right now I still looked for anything uh, I'm still looking for anything up to the 15 million uh, dollar range in terms of a striker. The reason is that I figured I could just uh, flip one of my players over with the money in order to uh, get that get that transfer budget, uh, have that not be such a big obstacle going forward. So my budget went to 15 million uh, right here. And so I looked through players for such a long time, and uh, I'm only going to show the ones that actually panned out in the end. I mean, it took a long time uh, looking through them. And the thing is, in this game, uh, pace is one of the most important parts. So I was really looking for someone who, number one, was young, number two, fit my budget, and number three, had pace, and would fit into the positioning I had. So I went back to the lineup to see... Uh, exactly where I was weak which would be right forward was pretty weak and my left forward wasn't even a real left forward he was a, a center attacking mid I, I believe so I wanted to straighten that out and uh, my team was so I found Wildcott and I'm familiar with him cause, uh, because I used to play as Arsenal and I like Arsenal so uh, so I immediately tried to go in after him and uh, my first offer was eventually rejected as you'll see and 
and uh, we boosted the offer after a while and got him signed. I also looked through some other players that were pretty good. Uh, that You'll see them like pop up in the mail uh, as we uh, continue forwards. And so uh, the thing is, uh, the uh, I can't play all the games on this because it would just take way too long. So uh, I'm, what I'm doing pretty much is I'm just going to show you the game that's at the beginning and the very end to see the final score. And if I do show a game, it's going to be its own video. If it's important, important game. And right here, my offer was not accepted for Theo. So I uh, boosted it to $9 million, And then it gets accepted eventually right here. And also, it's very important when you're doing a manager mode to look over what the other teams are doing, especially if they're in your league and you're going to be competing with them. My thing is that I'm not such a big player in the league so I'm because this team is not that great, so I'm just expecting to get a decent. So I, I, the thing is, I, I went kind of full doofus on this one. I uh, forgot that I needed a higher transfer or I needed, uh, I needed more... Uh, more money for the wage which I forgot about because so, I have such a low wage only I think 30 or 40 thousand so I decided to look through my player CEO could sell and then I remembered I could just change the budget split which is not always a great thing to do but for temporary things or something very important it's it's uh, it's a good feature to have so then I did that and then we went to transfer negotiations and I went back to him and I went to the contract offer and I, I went through and offered it to him. The and so we submit offer, and there are no problems up besides that up until this point. And so uh, I advanced. He accepted the contract offer, except for the fact that my transfer budget was negative now, so I couldn't accept the offer. So then, uh, because I I don't know, I was just going crazy again. So then uh, I went back to transfers and sold a player eventually. Uh, I got some transfer offers, and right here, uh, I got a transfer offer for this guy, and I figured, it says at the top chief executive comments, it said he's worth five to six million if you want a counter offer, so I just said, let's push that a little to six and a half million and see if they'll bite, and uh, as you can see, they, they uh, did end up, in one second you'll see, they did end up accepting it, and that was very good for me. And so I went through and played this match, um, even though my team isn't in tip-top shape yet. And uh, so we'll see. As you can see, I kind of uh, look through the team, see what I can do. There's really not much I can do at this point to improve the team. So then uh, the only thing I did see was that Mie I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Miechi. Uh, he's he's got incredible pace, and although everything else isn't quite that good, uh, it's still very important. And as you can see, I lost one to two in this game, and uh, it's well because my team's not that great. And uh, I tried as well, but whenever you see the goalkeeper is the man of the match, and uh, that that's never a good thing. So then. Uh, so then I sold the player successfully, and I uh, went straight away to sign Theo Welcott. And so uh, I was able to go in and uh, accept the offer that he put down right here. Submit the offer for four years and ninety million or ninety thousand. And so there we have it. Uh, now we have. Now he's been accepted. He's on my team now. After I accept the offer, and uh, then I then I uh, get to work on my uh, lineup a little bit. I go to the squad, and then I uh, I go in and swap out. Uh, first, I'm looking for a replacement for my. Uh, for my uh, injured player and then I'm going in and working on uh, afterwards I'm gonna work on my uh, starting players and so 
as you can see, uh, Theo Walcott and the combination of Theo Walcott and um, and uh, Miechi is uh, really good in terms of pace, and it makes it much easier to work on the wings, and then maybe cross it in scoreable. And it, it really did make a difference in this match because I was able to win. And uh, I know I can't win every match, but Walcott was the man of the match. And that's always good once you pay for a player, especially as much as I did with such a small budget. And he pans out in his first game and becomes the man of the match. Uh, so then we go forwards, and it's almost the end of, the end of July. And this is going to be the last game. And... Uh, the last game of the month and each month as I said before is going to be one episode unless there's an important game so this is going to be the end of the episode soon after you see the result of this game uh, so we do end up losing unfortunately but I think that uh, the game it was just a bad game and I think we'll bounce back I think that this team could stay 500 maybe even float a little bit above 500 over the course of the season uh, so thank you for watching uh, please like comment and uh, subscribe and it's really important to like that that really helps me out and subscribing is also very important so you can see the rest of the series as this uh, series grows and so I'm gonna probably try please and also please give me tips and pronunciation things because I'm not that great at pronunciation okay thanks and bye